Hey guys, this is Dane Tech and I'm back with another exciting video. And as the title states, in this video, we'll be figuring out if Apple's A18 Pro can actually match the performance of Nintendo Switch 2's new processor. So for this test, I'll be using Fortnite as my testing tool as this game is on both platforms. So first things first, let's talk about one of the issues I ran into when testing the Switch 2. Unfortunately, Nintendo doesn't allow any capture card to work in handheld mode due to no HDMI support. Therefore, I can only capture footage in docked mode. But don't worry, I will still address performance outcomes in handheld mode. Now with this out of the way, let's talk about graphics. And as we can see, the iPhone is running Fortnite at max 704p. Dynamic resolution is turned off on the iPhone as resolution is set to 100% while graphics at epic settings. Now, as for the Switch 2, it's a little more complicated. Graphics are preset and there is no way to configure settings. However, as we dive into testing, I will explain more in depth the graphic settings in the Switch 2 so we can begin to understand how these two devices compare in performance. So, first things first, as we can see, the resolution is much higher on the Switch 2 in docked and in handheld mode. Docked resolution is maxed at 1220p, while handheld mode is maxed at 900p resolution in comparison to the iPhone 704p. However, remember when I mentioned the iPhone is not using dynamic resolution? Well, for the Switch 2, it is in fact using dynamic resolution. Hence why at times, during testing, graphics doesn't look drastically different between both devices, despite the huge resolution gap. The Switch 2 can drop resolution as low as 800p while docked and as low as 600p in handheld mode to keep that locked 60 frames per second target. Therefore, performance is actually much closer to the iPhone than we realize, especially when looking at the power draw. The iPhone 16 Pro Max draws an impressive 4 to 5 watts of power at a steady 700p resolution and locked 60 frames per second, while the Switch 2 uses 18 to 19 watts of power in docked mode and 9 watts in handheld mode. So, theoretically, the iPhone's A18 Pro is capable of matching or even beating the Switch 2 in performance when considering performance per watt and gaming resolution. But, in reality, or more so realistically, the Switch 2 is still more powerful and capable of running games at a higher resolution and FPS due to the access to higher power draws and a dedicated cooling system. So, in conclusion, the Switch 2 does provide overall the better raw performance and a better gaming experience. I'm curious to know your thoughts on this data and which device you prefer for gaming and performance. Again, let me know in the comments your opinion. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the testing.